how's everybody rebounding? Oh, we had a good practice yesterday. Today was our cleanup day, so it was good. You can only uh, really um, evaluate that after Saturday's performance. But I mean, it's players are uh, very resilient. These guys are resilient. They're ready to go. When you have a game like that went Saturday, is there more anxiousness to get out there the next week? Yeah, I can't. Um, you know, I've been there before. We lose a game, you have a bye week or something. You have to sit and eat it for two weeks. So, no, the best thing is about. Uh, game two, we got game three right around the corner. It's already Wednesday, and, and we get a chance to redeem ourselves. Coach, you said that you want your team to be nine units strong. How yep. close to that do you feel you are right now? Pretty close. You know, uh, we make a few plays, I'd probably say even closer in that game, but uh, we're pretty close. That's a great question, though, and um, that's it's a daily, you know, game one, how many units strong were you compared to game two, and, and uh, this will be a great team when we get all nine units strong. Lose Chad Sorry. How much of a loss is that? Oh, he's a great kid. He uh, hurt his shoulder in uh, training camp badly, and then um, kept, you know, his arm would go dead on him. And, and uh, we wish him the best. He's a good kid. Is he out of school now? Do you, is no, he's finishing his. He's finishing school. Yeah, he's gonna uh, finish. He's in grad school. Yeah. So he's finished up in January or okay. December. Uh, real quick. What did you see from your defense Saturday night? Did you see signs of what you envisioned when you? Yeah, had not bad. Not, I want more. We all want more. We yeah. want more. We want to. Uh, I felt for you know almost three quarters we played very good defense and uh, not. We didn't close the deal. You know the last drive in the second, uh, the drive to put them up 28-21 was a, a heartbreaker. Yeah. But uh, I'm seeing improvement and I'm seeing a, a young secondary getting better. Urban, how do you guys plan to work Noah? back into things now that he's off the suspension and everything? Oh, that's that's too bit determined and see, you know, how he responds to everything. Any changes in depth at running back? Running back. No, uh, it's right now it's top three guys again. Uh, we didn't use it very much Saturday because they just took every took the run game away, but you had uh, you have Zeke, uh, Curtis, and Rod. Well, so when you brought in the 2014 class, you mentioned you wanted these offensive linemen to come in and be ready to play immediately. Looks like Jamarco Jones jumped in. Getting close. What did he do to make that jump? And, you know, we got hurt during training camp, a sprained ankle, and he's finally over that. And uh, he's had a really good week of practice. Demetrius Knox is getting close, too. So we're just pushing the envelope. And, you know, we got a week this week, and then we also got a bye week next week. We're going to be pushing as hard as we can. How's Jacoby doing this week? He had, that, he had that high ankle sprain he's been dealing with, I guess. And yeah. uh, what's... Yeah. yeah, he's getting a little better. Yeah, is there anybody? Uh, did anybody come out of this uh, injured or whatever? You're not going to be able to have with you on Saturday, or is that out of the game? Yeah, out of the game or this week. I think we're fine. In addition to, I mean, obviously you want to win, but what do you want to see Saturday? From well, we haven't guys? started particularly fast, and we had a pretty good reputation for a while. They were coming out of the gates real fast, real hard, and uh, uh, we haven't done that yet. I was brought to my attention. I went back and did a little research on it. We haven't, and so we got to. We gotta go take the lead and, and play Ohio State style football. You play a more conventional style of team. You're not gonna have the quirky looks that you've gotten the first two weeks. How, how much are you looking forward to that? Just being able to hopefully play somewhat normally. I guess. Uh, we'll see some stuff, but uh, we, you know, kind of looking forward to it. But uh, we don't look at it that way. We're just looking forward trying to get a W and get that one behind us. What do you see in Kent State when you watch them on film? I see a very good Mac school that. Uh, um, I've been there before when uh, I was at Bowling Green. I actually played at Kent. I see a good. I see a quarterback can make plays. That's our biggest concern on defense. And I see guys that run around and hit you on, on, on defense. So, how much of a talking point was discipline with the Eli Apple pass interference penalty and the personal foul on kick coverage? Just evaluating. Yeah, Ron Towner. Uh, we those are one. You know, the team knows that we've covered that weekly. And then uh, I grabbed both of those and we had a little chat and and it was. Uh, you know, those are effort plays, and you just got to avoid that, especially in those kind of situations. Wide and the kick out of bounds is a bad one, too, in the fourth quarter. Wide receivers, you feel like you're, you're getting in position to make plays. Now it's time to make those plays. Yeah, or it's about time. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you use those receivers? Ditto. <laughs> Two more questions. Have you used the receivers the same way, that group of six? Is it still that, yeah. that rotation? I'll tell you, Johnny Dixon and Noah Spencer are really close. Noah, Noah, Brown. Brown. Noah Brown are very close to getting involved in this thing. Having Herb, been you know, your three losses in the last four games, but you, you guys mm. have had the ball in your hands with a chance to win or tie yeah. all three of those in the fourth quarter and stuff. Is I don't know. I'm not trying to be simplistic here, but, but is the message finish? I mean, what what is sort of the? Uh, of course, the uh, I'd say of course that's the message, and, yeah. and uh, 
Uh, it's all about execution. I'm not sure messages are, you know, we're not going to, you know, a secret handshake or T-shirt to finish a game. you gotta, you got to do it, and we haven't done it. You're right. Having been a coach at a last question. Having been a coach at a Mac school, what? I mean, when you played major schools and you know Kent State's opportunity here on Saturday, what's? Do you know what's going through their minds? I think we were four and zero against BCS schools. It wasn't Ohio State. Right. It was we beat Missouri twice, beat Kansas, and we beat Temple. They might have beat one more. It might have been five and zero. Um, and those kids got the, they're going to be a hungry group coming in here because this, this is their chance to play in front of 110,000 people. So, I, yeah, I've been in that locker room when we went down to Missouri and won that game. And that's uh, you're going to see a hungry group trying to get a win. Thanks, guys. Thank you.